But first, Houston police are on the hunt to find the person who shot and killed a man in a parking garage near the Texas Medical Center. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Sion Rhodes. We've been following this story all morning. New at midday, we now know the name of the victims. 21-year-old Johnny Ray Demise was killed while Eric Burton, also 21, was taken to a hospital. This all happened last night in the 2900 block of Old Spanish Trail near Almeda. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now with the latest. Kathy, good morning to you. Well, good morning. Family members were here overnight for so many hours while investigators collected evidence here. The family members were very upset. They didn't want to talk to our cameras. They did tell me, though, that 21-year-old victim had a six-month-old baby. Police tell us they don't believe anyone involved in the shooting lived here at these apartments. Now, one big question, how did everyone get inside? It, yeah, it's scary, though. Yeah, knowing someone could do that. Police officers blocked the entrance of the Equinox luxury apartments for hours. We know that there was an argument and the argument led to gunfire. Detectives say a gunman shot two men on the fourth floor of the parking garage on Old Spanish Trail near Almeida Sunday night. They say one of their girlfriends drove both men to the fifth floor. She was trying to get away. She, why she picked up, I don't know, but that's, that's the direction she went. That's where officers say her boyfriend, 21-year-old Johnny Ray Demise, died. The other man, Eric Burton, also 21, was still alive. There were several nurses, from what I'm told, that were here performing CPR. Uh, they are residents of the apartment complex. They just happened to be here when, it, when the shooting occurred. Burton was in critical condition, but expected to live. Police say the three men responsible got away. Detectives say neither the suspects nor the victims lived at these apartments. Residents do need a key card to get inside the garage. I mean, I've lived here a couple years and I've never felt unsafe. I, I, I bike into work and bike at night even. Never felt unsafe. Now residents thinking twice. Again, police say the three suspects left in a gray four-door sedan. Investigators were looking at surveillance video here from these apartments to try to get more information about those suspects. I talked to the apartment manager here, and she says she cannot comment on the ongoing investigation. And just in the last 30 minutes, I talked to a resident. He said the apartment management has not yet notified all the residents about this shooting. Reporting live in the Texas Medical Center, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Kathy, thank you. We are tracking breaking news right now from our nation's capital where the FBI has fired agent Peter Strzok over anti-Trump texts during the 2016 presidential campaign. Strzok helped lead the FBI's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Strzok was a 21-year veteran of the department. He admitted to exchanging anti-Trump texts with FBI lawyer Lisa Page with whom he had an affair. His lawyer says the firing undercuts the FBI's promise that Strzok would be given the normal disciplinary process. The FBI has not commented on the firing. Turning to our weather now, we are talking heat and haze on this Monday. Oh yeah, still plenty of dust out there, Britta. Yeah, you know, it's not as thick as yesterday, but you can definitely see it. A little milkiness to the sky, and it's going to be a hot, humid, and hazy day, so be ready for that. Uh, temperatures right now starting to warm up across town. It's a lovely live look at Centennial Gardens. Uh, right now at Herman Park, we have temperatures generally in the upper 80s. We're at 90 in Katy, 91 degrees in Sugarland, upper 80s at the coast. And when you throw in the humidity, it does feel a a touch warmer so we have feel like temperatures ranging between 99 and about 103 as we go in the afternoon they could reach as high as 105 so take it easy in our uh, Houston heat especially for kids that have after school practices some folks went back to school today so make sure that they are prepared for this humidity levels in the 60 70 percent tile range so it is going to be very sticky as we go in the afternoon and we're going to top off around 95 degrees that is average for this time of year as we go into the evening forecast temperatures still staying pretty up there 87 degrees as late as 8 p.m. Now the dust levels they are coming down so we'll see some improvements with the air quality and rain chances are coming back. We'll take a look at your 10 day forecast in just a few minutes. Andy and Sion back to you. All right Britta thanks so much. Remember you can track our temperatures anytime you want. All you have to do is download Frank's free forecast weather app. 
Just search KPRC in your Apple or Android app store. We are continuing to monitor the condition of the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, who is reportedly very ill at a hospital in Detroit. It is one of the most talked about stories across social media right now. Several sources reporting that Franklin is surrounded by family and friends who are asking for prayers. Franklin's name was trending on Twitter overnight with celebrities and fans sending their thoughts and prayers. Closing arguments are underway in the so-called honor killings case. Last week, Ali Irsan took the stand in his own defense. A jury found him guilty of killing his daughter's husband and her best friend back in 2012 for encouraging his daughter to convert to Christianity. Irsan faces the death penalty or life in prison. An Oceanside boardwalk collapsed during a nighttime concert in the Spanish city of Vigo, injuring more than 300 people. NBC's Bill Neely reports. The ground disappears, a wooden boardwalk plunging into the sea, and with it, hundreds of people desperately trying to scramble clear. We were jumping, then suddenly, boom, she says, and everyone fell and was crushed. The rap singer Rels B had just asked everyone to jump. They did. The hundred-foot-long wooden boardwalk couldn't take it. We all fell, she says. I tried to get out, but people kept falling over me. There was panic, arms and legs broken. Rescuers came quickly. Divers were sent into the sea to search for anyone trapped underneath the pier. So many people were trying to escape, she says. Most of those hurt are in their teens or early 20s. In all, 316 were injured, two of them seriously. An investigation has begun. The boardwalk was supported by concrete pillars, but officials say there were just too many people on it. The invitation to jump did the rest. Amazingly, although 300 people fell into the sea at once, officials say no one has life-threatening injuries. But they'll remember this for a lifetime. One little girl was overheard telling her dad, if we die here, I love you. They're all survivors this morning, but it could have been so very different. Bill Neely, NBC News, London. Now to a traffic alert impacting commuters on State Highway 288 and 610. Starting today, direct connectors to 288 will be open. The direct connectors taking drivers from 610 eastbound to 288 northbound as well as 610 westbound to 288 southbound will be in use. The opening of these new connectors also means the older connector ramps will be demolished. Construction begins Friday and will continue over the weekends for the next few months. Today is the first day of class for the Catholic schools across the Houston area. At St. Lawrence Catholic School in Sugarland, students were excited to kick off their first day of class. This morning, during their welcome back, the father made sure to bless the students for the new school year by spraying holy water on the crowd. First day back to school. It's very exciting. The kids are all full of smiles, the parents were smiling, and we're, we're happy to be here because this is what we prepare for all summer. Today, the students will only be in school for half a day. They're using it to go through class routines, practice school drills, and of course, meet their new teachers and classmates. Two districts heading back to school this week include Aleaf and Fort Bend ISD. Students at HISD have two weeks left of summer vacation. The district starts back on the 27th. Texans fans were up bright and early to make sure they got a seat to see the team up close today. The excitement building as we count down to the next preseason game. Hundreds of fans packing NRG to get into the second of four practices that are open to the public. Unlike years past, tickets are first come, first serve. So fans started lining up at 915 for a practice that's going to happen at three. We spoke to some fans who were one of the first in line. Uh, I think it gives them the encouragement they need. I really do. Hopefully they'll come back next year and practice more here. <laughs> The Texans gearing up to take on the San Francisco 49ers for their second preseason game this Saturday at NRG Stadium. The team's next open practice is Wednesday. Now from football to basketball, we've been talking about this move for a while. Finally today, Carmelo Anthony has been spotted here in Houston. We're told Anthony was at a hospital in the Texas Medical Center to complete a physical. There are reports he's expected to sign a deal with the Rockets very soon. All right, we have a mosquito alert going out after a little boy is hospitalized after being bitten. What doctors say is making him so sick coming up.
And a scary carjacking caught on camera. What police are saying about the encounter and their search to find those suspects? Visit click2houston.com's weather section to learn the benefits of the right air filter for your new home. On the next Houston Live, frozen foods that shouldn't freak you out. What to stock up on at the grocery store to help make weeknight meals a little easier. Plus the six biggest mistakes people make when buying a car. That's today at 1 on KPRC Channel 2. We are a AAA family. I was introduced through my family. My husband was introduced through his family. We had the same insurance company for a long time, and we were fed up with paying a lot of money. We decided to go check out AAA Insurance. We were shocked of how much we would save. Switch to AAA Insurance today, and you can save an average of $447 on auto insurance. Compare that to GEICO, State Farm, even Allstate. Call now for your free auto insurance quote to find out how much you could save. By switching to AAA Insurance and bundling our insurance policies, we're able to save over $450. The savings that we get through AAA Insurance enables us to do more of what we love. More gas in our car for driving up north to go camp. You do s'mores. <laughs> you can't lose the s'mores. Yeah. <laughs> to find out how much you could save by switching to AAA Insurance, call 877-214-9782 for your free auto insurance quote today. Triple A Insurance, helping you save more. It's Mattress One's biggest Labor Day sale ever, and we combined our best two offers, a free adjustable base with wireless remote and our queen for the price of a twin. Sealy Queen mattresses from $2.99. Mattress One has more than 20 queens under $9.99. While supplies last, get a free queen adjustable base with wireless remote, plus free delivery, setup, and removal, and 0% APR for five years with equal payments through Labor Day only. Visit MattressOne.com to find a store near you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing with the Johnson sofa? Well, they had a pipe break. Uh, water leaked all over the living room. Uh, that doesn't look like a pipe. I fixed the pipe. Now we're just cleaning up the water damage. Oh, it was a sofa leak? No. It was a sofa pipe? No. We like normal here. Normal plumbers doing normal things that plumbers do. I'm a Roto-Rooter plumber. We handle all the plumbing and water cleanup issues. How convenient. Yeah. Call Roto-Rooter for plumbing and water cleanup. Yeah, we do both. Are you still waiting to repair your home after Harvey? KHI Construction can help. We're an experienced residential contractor with a team of licensed trades for plumbing, HVAC, and electrical. If you had flood insurance but your home is still not finished, your deadline to apply for supplements is fast approaching. If you're in need of a general contractor to rebuild your home and submit insurance supplements, call KHI Construction today or go online to khi-construction.com. We're KHI and we're here to help. Her family claims she's delusional. I'm hot. We were allegedly stealing a vehicle. Why, Stephanie? Why, right then? Oh, I'm just mimicking because I'm delusional. Next, Dr. Bill. Today at 3 on Channel 2. Caught on camera, two men with guns ambush a woman while she is sitting in her car in her driveway in southeast Houston. This carjacking happened back in March. Surveillance cameras show the men approaching a car on Roper Street. That's near Elton and the Gulf Freeway. Police say one of the men pointed a gun at her and then demanded her purse, and the other man forced her out of her car. The two men then just took off in her car. If you recognize them, call Houston police or Crime Stoppers. Also caught on camera, a scary scene at a shopping mall in China. Two girls stuck on an escalator. Security video captured the scene as the girls stepped onto the escalator, but one step was missing. Look, they eventually fell down and were trapped. One of the girl's legs caught in the es escalator. Medical staff was on hand to help stop the bleeding. She was taken to a hospital. The escalator was shut down. The cause of that mishap still under investigation. An important new warning for all families about the dangers of mosquito bites. That's right. This comes after one bite sent a six-year-old North Carolina boy to the hospital for six days. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren reports. This morning, six-year-old Noah Surratt is happy to be home with his family and out of the hospital, where just days ago he was fighting for his life. There were so many times it went through my mind, not knowing if he was going to make it. Noah's mom, Lori Ann, says it all started with a headache, but the next day he suffered a seizure. He was blue. His eyes was rolled back in the back of his head. And the day after he got admitted into the hospital, he, he was just lifeless. Lori Ann says doctors diagnosed Noah with lacrosse encephalitis, 
a virus transmitted through mosquito bites, which can cause swelling in the brain. Every day in the hospital, his family praying Noah would be okay. I just thought that there was never going to be that turn. And then all of a sudden, about 3 o'clock that day, he just sat up in bed and started talking to me. And it was just mind-blowing how much, I mean, just in a matter of minutes, it's like he come to life. An average of 70 cases of lacrosse encephalitis are reported each year in the U.S., according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Most severe cases occur in children younger than 16. It's been very hard, especially at nighttime. He, he wakes up and he cries having nightmares. A heart-wrenching experience Lori Ann doesn't want any other family to go through. Take the precaution, take the extra step towards it, because I never thought that a mosquito bite would have ever done this to my kid. Never. And it's worth noting here that Noah's mom says he was bitten despite the fact he was wearing bug spray. But experts still say that bug spray is one of the best ways to prevent mosquito bites. A pilot is dead after crashing a small plane into a home south of Salt Lake City, Utah. Take a look at this damage here. Investigators say the plane went down around 2.30 this morning, starting a fire. Now, amazingly, the two people inside that home escaped without injury. The FAA and the NTSB now looking into what caused the plane to crash. Not many people can put unicorn chaser on their resume, but now a sheriff's deputy in Minnesota can boast about that very specialized <laughs> skill. He rescued a couple of women <laughs> who were stuck on a lake on a rainbow colored unicorn oh boy. Float. with paddles. I was gonna say, look at the right. paddle action, not working mm. too well. Well, <laughs> the deputies department posted this video on Facebook and obviously it's now making the rounds <laughs> online. It shows the deputy throwing a rope to the stranded women and then pulling them oh to shore. The Facebook post said the entire scene was a front row seat to the greatest show <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> that was the most impressive unicorn float I have ever seen. It's a big one. It's not, it's not pool there size. So Watch him. There he goes. Oh. It's a nice shot. Wrangle it in. You're like yeah. it didn't fit in the pool. Let's take it out to this mucky lake and see, yeah, what and see how it goes. <laughs> Everybody seems to be okay. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It all ended up okay. Uh, we have a lot of heat in our forecast. Boy, do we ever. Yeah, and last few days of summer vacation for many mm -hmm. students, although a lot went back today. So whether you're getting ready for after school pickup or you're trying to entertain the kids this afternoon, we have a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Dust levels are a little high, though. Take a look at this click to pins user, uh, Amanda C. She posted this earlier this morning of the hazy sunrise. So definitely some high levels of dust. Air quality is going to be down this afternoon, but that's only hitched to the forecast. It's beautiful for an August day. We have a lot of heat and humidity, partly cloudy skies on our Avenue Houston camera shot. And temperatures right now are climbing into the mid to upper 80s. We're currently at 88 degrees in Houston. Factor in the humidity feels like 100 degrees. And those triple digit feel like temperatures are gonna be with us for the remainder of this afternoon. Galveston right now, 89 degrees with a feel like temperature of 98 degrees. We're gonna top off in the mid 90s today. That's typical for this time of August. We are not tracking any rain chances. So those afternoon thunderstorms will not get in the way of jumping in the pool. There's a look at the air quality again. This morning it was un unhealthy for sensitive groups. It's improving slightly as we go to the afternoon, but still at a moderate level. So I would still recommend getting inside, enjoying some air conditioning, especially if you have upper respiratory issues or asthma. On the satellite, we're picking up on a little bit of dust, but again, it's not as thick as what we saw yesterday. Most of it actually moving into northern portions of Mexico. In the open Atlantic, though, nothing but dust. And that's why it's been so quiet this hurricane season, which is awesome. We've only had four names systems and we're watching one area to the north of that but only a 20 percent chance of development so the tropical update looking pretty good we have two tropical waves in the pacific about a 20 to 40 percent chance so even the pacific is a little more quiet compared to what we had this time last week on the satellite close to home a lot of heavy rainfall to the north of us this is the same system that produced the flash flooding in san antonio over the weekend it has been moving up to the north so if you do have flights moving from dallas and oklahoma city could see some isolated delays because of the weather but for us, it's nice and quiet. We've carved out up a little bit of clear sky, but we're expecting those rain chances to come back tomorrow. They're slight, though. We're just expecting those sea breeze showers and storms pretty much every afternoon for the entire week. This ridge of high pressure is moving in from the west, but not enough to completely squash our rain chances. So we'll have a few splash and dash showers in the forecast. Temperatures in our afternoons will be in the mid-90s each and every day, so the 10-day forecast is very consistent. We do not have any massive storm systems heading in our direction. So it's kind of nice. We can kind of coast into the beginning of school, knowing what to expect. 
no, you know, big alarms going off. We, we like, like it. Good stuff, exactly. Britta, thanks so much. Stay with us. We'll be right back. To help KPRC clear the shelters on Saturday, August 18th. Bring home your new running buddy, playmate, and best friend. Last year, nearly 3,000 animals around Houston found their forever homes. Dogs, cats, rabbits, birds, the perfect pet is waiting for your family. So say yes to more licks, more walks, and more love. Help us clear the shelters. Go to clickthehouston.com slash community to find out more. Clear the shelters on KPRC is sponsored by Frontier Utilities. Electricity for less. Here is one value I know about life. At some point in the second half, most of us no longer want a speedboat or a convertible or a red motor scooter. What we really want is to be in the intellectual company of others, to be able to hear and converse and experience the true joys of life. For some, this is meaningful time with grandchildren, worship services, a favorite restaurant. What you need is not hearing aids. You need hearing care. You need a kind specialist who knows you by name, cares about you as an individual, who is skilled in correct assessment and treatment, who will select the technology, tailor it for your hearing correction, then verify the degree of improvement. Well, this is who we are. If this is the type of care you are looking for, right now we are offering a risk-free 10-day test drive of our tailor-made hearing solutions. Call now for an appointment. Hey, what's up, Kyle? That's General Kyle. We're in a price war. Yeah, great news, especially for our back-to-school customers. Smell that? What? It's victory. Whoa, hold the parade. Did you see that our athletic apparel and athletic footwear are buy one, get one 50% off? What? And backpacks and water bottles also buy one, get one 50% off. You can't do that. We just did. And our best price guarantee means that if you can still find a low price, we'll match it. My manager's not going to like this. He's dressed like a sailor. For top quality floors at rock bottom prices, homeowners and pros choose Floor & Decor. They're incredible in the design center. I tell them what my vision is and I'll come out of there with a real plan. The design services are free. The pro desk is fabulous. If they save me time, they save me money. They're going to help you find your products. They're going to help you get in and out of here quickly. These guys are experts. I'm a general contractor and this is my store. Floor & Decor makes my job incredibly easy. Floor & Decor. You have to see it to believe it. The Alley Theater's ExxonMobil Summer Chills returns with Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. Come chill out with the classic whodunit. Can you guess the murderer? Summer pricing from $26. Now through September 2nd. Tickets at alleytheater.org. Life is measured in moments. Security and Financial offer solutions that give you the confidence to enjoy the here and now so you can make every moment count. Community Toyota, ranked number one in Google customer reviews, where everything we do is centered around you. Uber is one step closer to getting a fleet of flying cars off the ground. Uber Air, the company's aviation program, is teaming up with the University of Texas and the U.S. Army Research Laboratory to make flying taxis a reality. They're looking to get vehicles to cruising altitudes of 1 to 2,000 feet and speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. The project is expected to take 18 months and aiming for service to start by 2023. Prices at the pump have gone up. The latest data shows the average price of regular rose two cents over the past two weeks to 2.93 a gallon. That's 53 cents higher than a year ago. Thankfully, the Texas average is sitting at 261 a gallon. Industry analysts say that it could drop slightly as refineries have more supply and demand for fuel stays weak. Spotify is testing a new feature in Australia that lets free users skip audio and video ads as many times as they'd like. Spotify tells Ad Age the idea is that users will likely only skip ads they don't care about. The company says what listeners do listen to or watch will give it feedback on how to better target them. The goal is to eventually launch the feature globally. Using credit cards and building a good credit history can be challenging for many people, especially when there are myths out there about how to improve your credit score. But financial experts say don't believe the myths because they could actually hurt your score. NBC's Chris Clackham shows us what not to do. 
A recent study concluded more than one in five credit card users, about 43 million Americans, pay little or nothing on their monthly credit card bill, thinking it'll help their credit score. And that's simply not the case. But financial experts like bank rates Greg McBride are emphatic that carrying a credit card balance to help your credit score is not only a myth, but does exactly the opposite. Nothing's going to torpedo your credit score quicker than making late payments on, uh, on anything other than on the uh, occasional basis. McBride says the myth seems to be more prevalent among millennials and that the only beneficiaries of carrying credit card balances are the credit card companies. With the average credit card rate now over 17%, uh, there's a clear benefit for card issuers if you're carrying a balance needlessly on your credit card. Fact is, he says, credit scores soar when bills are paid on time and debts paid down monthly. Together, that's nearly two-thirds of your credit score right there. That's the low-hanging fruit in terms of building a solid credit history. A history that can start right now. Chris Clackham, NBC News. 30 million people have diabetes. That is over 9% of the country's population. But could adaptations by cave fish hold a key to treating the disease? Well, coming up, why researchers are studying these blind fatty fish to learn more about diabetes in people. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez. Coming up, I put KPRC kids to the test with lunches from a dietitian. See what they actually ate when we gave them choices from five different categories. And next, Omarosa goes off on the president, the tapes she is releasing, and what she is saying about President Trump's ability to lead this country. I had experienced 13 sinus infections in one year. I was on various medications. Having the balloon sinuplasty with Dr. Cooper on has really allowed me to reclaim my life. I was almost completely better within just a few days. I'm Dr. Cooper on with Houston Advanced Nose and Sinus. I'm one of the few fellowship certified sinus experts in all of Texas. I can help you breathe better now with Houston Advanced Nose and Sinus. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. So why accept it from your allergy pills? Most pills don't finish the job because they don't relieve nasal congestion. Flonase Allergy Relief is different. Flonase relieves sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, and a runny nose, plus nasal congestion, which pills don't. Flonase helps block six key inflammatory substances. Most pills only block one, and six is greater than one. Start your day with Flonase for more complete allergy relief. Flonase, this changes everything. Official Spokes Owl for WGU, here to celebrate why thousands of nurses choose WGU. Our degrees are CCNE accredited. Now? No. Our graduates are employed by top hospitals around the country. Now? Not yet. And the National League for Nursing named WGU a center of excellence. Now? Now. Magnificent. Online, nonprofit, and surprisingly affordable. WGU Texas. It's a new kind of you. It ain't pretty when you face a bad truck wreck. Greedy insurance companies play dirty. Bring it on. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Go at them with Jim Adler, the tough, smart lawyer that knows how to beat them at their own game. I stand tough and carry a big, big hammer. I thought so. <laughs> Call now, 713-777-4000, or learn more at jimadler.com. The best part about being a bath fitter installer is the reveal. Homeowners greet us in the morning and love that we're going to install a beautiful new tub right over their old one without tearing the bathroom apart. But they're never quite prepared for what they get come the end of the day. We call it the wow moment. When they see their new bathtub that's high quality and more beautiful than they could have imagined, I can't help but smile. Since it's bath fitter, it's built to last a lifetime. We guarantee it. Book your free in-home consultation today. Call or visit bathfitter.com. Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News Midday. Andy and Sion back with you on this Monday. Former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman opening up about a secretly recorded phone call with the president. The president's once loyal aide turning on him, saying he is a racist, a misogynist, and in serious mental decline. NBC's Peter Alexander reports. 
This morning, President Trump on tape. Overnight, former White House aide Amarosa Manigold Newman providing NBC News with this exclusive excerpt of a recording of a phone call she says she received from the president. She says the call came the day after she was fired by the White House Chief of Staff John Kelly. The president seemingly unaware she'd been dismissed. Amarosa, what's going on? I just saw on the news that you're thinking about leaving. What happened? General Kelly, General Kelly what came happened? to me and said that you guys wanted me to leave. No, I, I, nobody even told me about it. Nobody, wow. you know, they run a big operation, but I didn't know it. I didn't know that. Yeah. God damn it. I don't love you leaving at all. NBC News does not know what was said before or after that exchange. On Sunday, Manigault Newman revealing she also secretly taped Kelly, firing her inside the highly secure White House Situation Room. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Uh, does the president, is the president aware of what's uh, going on? Don't, don't, let's not go down the road. This is a non-negotiable discussion. This is a White House where everybody lies. The president lies to the American people. Sarah Huckabee stands in front of the country and lies every single day. I had to protect myself and I have no regret about it. This morning, Omarosa unplugged. Donald Trump is a con. Once one of Mr. Trump's most loyal allies, a veteran of The Apprentice. But Omarosa, you're fired. Every detractor will have to bow down to President Trump. Now a fierce adversary expressing regret for her role in the West Wing as she attacks President Trump and questions his fitness for office. They continue to deceive this nation by how mentally declined he is, how difficult it is, it is for him to process complex information, how he is not engaged in some of the most important decisions that impacts our country. Over the weekend, the president dismissing his former aide. Low life. She's a low life. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders slamming Manigault Newman as a disgruntled former employee, adding, to sneak a recording device into the White House Situation Room shows a blatant disregard for our national security, and to brag about it on national television further proves a lack of character and integrity. In her book, Unhinged, Manigault Newman writes that she was told about a tape where Mr. Trump used the N-word during production of The Apprentice. But on Meet the Press, she insisted she heard it herself, but only after the book was finished. I heard his voice as clear as you and I are sitting here. You have heard the tape. I have heard the tape. Since publication of this book. Absolutely. Kellyanne Conway is slamming her former colleague as a self-promoting opportunist. She's trying to sell books and settle scores, and you've got to be anti-Trump for those to be successful. That was NBC's Peter Alexander reporting. The White House had no comment when NBC asked about the exchange between the president and Omarosa from the day she was fired. A look now at some of the morning's other top stories. Police working to find the gunman behind a deadly shooting in the medical center. That's right. This all happened last night at the Equinox Luxury Apartment Complex on Old Spanish Trail near Almeida. Detectives say a gunman shot two men on the fourth floor of the parking garage. 21-year-old Johnny Ray Demise was killed while 21-year-old Eric Burton was taken to a hospital in critical condition. Police say three suspects got away. Music icon Aretha Franklin is reportedly very sick. These reports saying she is at a hospital in Detroit. Several sources say she is surrounded by friends and family members who are asking for prayers. The 76-year-old retired from singing last year, saying she would only do select events and wanted to spend more time with her grandchildren. More than 300 people are hurt, two of them seriously, after a boardwalk collapsed in Spain over the weekend. It happened around midnight Sunday when hundreds of young people gathered for a concert in the city of Vigo. Officials with the Port Authority there say it was likely a structural problem and the weight of all the guests caused it to collapse. The cause of the bridge collapse, though, remains under investigation. And hello, Mello. NBA star Carmelo Anthony has been spotted in H-Town. We're told Anthony was at a hospital in the Texas Medical Center to complete a physical. ESPN reports Anthony will sign a $2.4 million one-year deal with the Rockets sometime today. Hello, Mello, and welcome, right? Yeah, he's getting quite the welcome to H-Town weather, indeed. Oh, my gosh. Typical summer weather for for us, a typical August day, Justin. That dust, though, is a no. force to be reckoned with, though. Yeah, it, it's it's getting me too. I'm over in the weather center here, and I'm like, trying not to sneeze. I don't want to wake, yeah, you know. Sneeze, cough. Yeah, all of that good stuff. So uh, today will be probably the worst of it. Tomorrow it'll certainly get 
much better. At least that's what the forecast looks like if we look at some of the aerosols. Uh, you can see it out there. I mean, look how hazy it is. This is from right here at Channel 2. Temperatures right now sitting at a uh, very comfortable 91 degrees until you factor in the humidity, and that makes it feel like it's about 103 out there. So just between that and the dust, just watch it in the afternoon. Uh, quite on the exact track, not expecting much out of that today. Maybe a quick flare up a little closer to the coast. That's about it. Certainly uh, not noteworthy. 86 in Dayton, 89 down in Galveston right now. Low 90s out in Katy, down towards El Campo, and that's where we'll be mid 90s likely for this afternoon. Humidity starting to pump back up. 60s, 70s, that will what we'll see for the rest of the afternoon. And of course, those feels like temperatures once again, triple digits for our Monday afternoon. We'll talk about some changes as we go in towards the rest of the week and if the kiddos heading back to school midweek, if they'll be dodging some rain showers coming up. Justin, thank you. Remember, you can track your forecast anytime you want. All you have to do is download Frank's free forecast weather app. Just search KPRC in your Apple or Android app store. When it comes to diabetes, diet, exercise, and medication help some people to avoid dangerous complications, but experts say there's still a lot to learn about this disease. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman shows us how researchers at Harvard Medical School are looking to an unlikely place to improve human health. Tanks and tanks of ordinary looking lab fish, but look a little closer. The cave fish has no pigments. They're like these white pinkish fish with no eyes at all. After millions of years of swimming in dark caves, the Mexican tetra has evolved to not have eyes. Harvard evolutionary and developmental biologist Misty Riddle says it's not the only fascinating adaptation. If you dissect these fish or even just looking at them, they, they seem to store fat everywhere. And so we wondered what other type of metabolic changes would there be. Riddle found cave fish have huge swings in blood glucose levels, much like people with type 2 diabetes. People with type 2 diabetes also have insulin resistance. Over time, high blood glucose levels and insulin resistance can lead to diabetes in people and to serious complications. Vascular damage causes heart disease, causes liver disease and uh, diabetic kidney disease. Despite the abnormal blood glucose levels, cave fish suffer none of the health side effects. Researchers say understanding why the fish don't develop the complications could help find a pathway for new drugs. And if we can learn about what, how that's different, maybe we could apply that to humans. Mysteries from deep in Mexican caves that could help treat an American health epidemic. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News. If you're thinking about getting a four-legged friend, make sure you do it this week. That's right. Coming up, how you can take part in clearing our local shelters. And next, America's Got Talent getting ready for live shows. Howie Mandel speaking with us live from Los Angeles next. Help KPRC clear the shelters on August 18th. Sponsored by Frontier Utilities. Electricity for less. Jumping back to school? Watch this. Jump back to school in style with buy one get one half off. Shoe Carnival, a surprise in store. You're happy he's home for the summer. But you're also ready for next semester to start. Thankfully, you're saving on electricity because you signed up for the Reliant First Month Free Plan. We even sweetened the deal with a Google Home Mini at no cost. Uh, hey mom, can I have this? A month of free electricity? Yeah. You deserve it. That's life. Switched on. Reliant. The showroom is huge. The savings are huge at Katie Furniture. Why wait for sales when you can save big anytime at Katie Furniture? Living rooms, dining, bedrooms, mattresses. You'll find the lowest prices every day. Katie Furniture is the only stop you need to make to furnish your home. From traditional to contemporary and the popular rustic style, we have thousands of items in stock and ready for immediate pickup or delivery. At Katie Furniture, you'll never pay retail again. Attention, if you're 50 years or older, this message is for you. Millions of Americans were exposed to asbestos working in factories, oil fields, refineries, shipyards, paper mills, and other jobs prior to 1982. You may have been exposed and qualify for cash compensation. This is not a lawsuit against the company you worked for. Schedule your free asbestos health test today. Call 855-579-5299. That's 855-579-5299. Jumping back to school? Watch this. Oh. 
Jump back to school in style with buy one, get one half off. Shoe Carnival, a surprise in store. These incredible ninja warriors are ready to leave their mark. It has been a long time since a woman has hit a city finals buzzer. It is definitely time to make some history. Yes! Emmy nominated Ninja Warrior, tonight on NBC. Tell me what happened. Turbulence. We've all been missing for five and a half years. No one on that plane aged a day. What is this? Where were we for five and a half years? All right, so we're talking about entertainment tonight on Channel 2 and American Ninja Warrior. The show returns to Philadelphia's Richmond Power Plant for the city finals. The top 30 ninjas for the qualifying round will face an even tougher course, which includes a new captain's wheel. You can watch American Ninja Warrior tonight at 7 o'clock. Now we want to go to another show that is having another big night, America's Got Talent. The live shows are starting tonight, and we have with us one of the hosts, Howie Mandel, to talk about what is going to be happening. Howie, thanks for joining us. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. All right, so what can we expect tonight? The unexpected. It's Tuesday night. Tuesday night is our uh, performance night, the live act. It, the, um, the, it's live for the first time. It's exciting, the energy's up. My golden buzzer, Courtney Hadwin, will be on, the 13-year-old who becomes Janis Joplin, the drop of a hat, great magic, very dangerous acts. Anything can happen. You gotta vote if you ever wanna see them again. That is the key, right? So there have been a lot of scary acts uh, that didn't go as planned as well. Talk about that. The ones that didn't go as well, like people have hurt themselves. There's been a lot of injuries, but hopefully there'll be no more injuries. Hopefully, I don't like that. I don't like even seeing that. I don't like knowing it. And I like, you know, people are, this is worth a lot to them. This is, besides the million dollars, this is an opportunity to change their lives and to get to the next level and make this their career and their full-time jobs. So sometimes they push a little too hard. I don't want to, I, I don't like seeing anybody get hurt. They're, they're so much. myself. Yeah, of course. Well, definitely not you, Howie. We know you're a very, very sensitive, fragile type of guy. So we don't want you to get hurt. Well, uh, <laughs> one of them called, one of the acts called me up and, and with a, and, and machete to slice a pineapple, but the pineapple was on my head. Oh. It was stupid. I should have said no. <laughs> I should have said, what are you going to do? But I didn't. But you live to tell the tale. That's what's important here. Thank God, yes. <laughs> so I was going to ask you about your favorite act. I'm guessing the pineapple slicing wasn't your favorite act. What was? Court Courtney Hadwin, the little girl you'll see on the show. Courtney Hadwin, is the, she's a sensation. Half a billion people have been watching her on social media sing that song, you know, when she got the gold, my golden buzzer. I think she's going to take the whole thing. All right, we'll be watching and participating in the voting. Thank you so much, Howie, for joining us. And you can watch America's Got Talent right here on Channel 2 Tuesday, starting at 7 o'clock. I'm going to turn it over to Andy, who has a guest who has a lot to say right oh, now. Oh, Sian, absolutely. You know, during the summer, overcrowding is a major issue at animal shelters across the country, really. This week, KPRC is teaming up with some of our local shelters for a national initiative focusing on finding a new home for animals. This is all leading up to the Clear the Shelters events that will take place on Saturday. Joining us here in studio, Renee Vasquez from the Fort Bend County Animal Shelters. Great to have you here. Thank you for having And you are here with Callie. Callie yes. is a five-year-old lab shepherd mix. Yes, sir. Yes, and she was a stray. Yeah, she was picked up as a stray. And uh, like I was telling you, the reason we know her name is because, you know, it was, it was on her collar. Um, unfortunately, the owner has showed up, so you know, she, she will be up for adoption. And Renee, this is a really critical time for shelters. Can you talk to us about that? Uh, yes, sir. Right now, uh, normally in the summer, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, we've seen, we've seen the, the numbers just keep going and going. As many adoptions as we do, it's just we can't catch up to the amount of animals that continue coming into the shelter. So this weekend is a really, really important weekend for us. Um, we, try, <laughs> we try to get everyone adopted, and that's always our goal. It's our fourth year, fourth year of doing this. Can you talk to us about any specials that you guys might be running yes. 
during this event? Yeah, this weekend uh, we will be open from 9 to 5 on Saturday and 10 to 2 on Sunday. And we're waiving all adoption fees uh, for any animal that's, that's, that's ready to be adopted. And um, I mean, as you can tell, we have, we have a variety. We have, uh, we have around 140 dogs and around 45 cats right now at the shelter. So yeah, please come and, and help. And you definitely, you're definitely saving, saving a, saving a pet. Is there anything that folks need to know or keep in mind before they come in? Uh, really, no, we'll be waiving adoption. We'll be doing uh, paper adoptions and um, just basically just an ID, a driver's license, and we'll come. We'll have a lot of volunteers showing you, showing you back and showing what we have. And, um, and yeah, we'll, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> Callie's ready to play and yes. gets the word out to our viewers at home that she is good to go, right? She's definitely a handful, but she's, uh, she's great with other dogs. She's been in our play groups, and um, as you can tell, she just likes belly rubs. She's wonderful. <laughs> yes, sir. Renee, thank you so much. Thank Best you for having us. You all. Yes, Absolutely, thank you. it's our pleasure. You can find more information and learn which local shelters are taking place in Clear the Shelters by heading on over to our community page at click2houston.com. You tell them, Callie. Yeah. <laughs> See on. She is making her bark heard. Thanks, Callie. Well, anyone who has ever gone to a wedding has heard Felix Mendelssohn's wedding march, but I doubt if you've ever heard it like this. All right, that's, uh, yeah, that's the song written in the mid-1800s with a little bit of a twist now. It's been recreated with the squeaks of a toy rubber chicken. I bet Callie would like that. This video, as you might imagine, has gone viral. Quite a skill. Well, have you ever had a friend that you just had to keep an eye on because he or she was always getting into trouble? Well, that's how you could sum up this viral video. A cat about to get into a fight with another cat when his pal, a dog, steps in to defuse the situation. He grabs the cat and he's like, come on, no, we're not gonna do this tonight. Giving the cat time to cool off and stopping the, pardon the expression, cat fight. Cat fight, okay. A young couple in the Philippines was determined not to let a monsoon stop their <gasps> wedding. This is the video right here, check this out. Yeah, the area saw heavy rain and strong winds late last week. It flooded the church where the couple planned to get married. In fact, they had to arrive in boats because the cars couldn't get through. The bride and her parents waded down the flooded aisle through murky water up to the barefoot groom, who was, of course, waiting by the altar. The couple also baptized their five-month-old daughter in front of their friends and family who watched all of wow. the festivities in their bare feet. Like, you know, we got a lot to do. We're gonna go through with it. That's right. Baptize a baby, get married. It's all happening. Get it all done. Rain or shine. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Well, I mean, how much of that did we have last year? You know, during Harvey when people were, yeah. mm -hmm. I remember getting messages from people who were saying, hey, we've got a wedding on yeah. this Saturday. And I was like, I'm sure. sorry. Yeah. You know, do what you got to do at that point. So, yeah, very much so. Uh, speaking of determined, we're determined to try to get some of this dust out of here for today so that we're all not walking around looking like we've uh, been on a bender for about four days and everybody's eyes are all messed up. <laughs> but unfortunately, it is here. That's a Saharan dust is going to be around at least for about one more day. So just, you know, again, if you got sensitivities, uh, uh, certainly if you're asthmatic, that's the biggest part as well. I've talked to a lot of folks when I was doing our Facebook Live last night, and they were just saying, hey, this is not uh, the best kind of day for me. Yeah, it is. And if you can plan early or even later on this evening when the dust kind of settles, once we get into the mid-afternoon, sun comes out, kind of heats the air up, and you get with that little convective engine. And so all the particulates are kind of moving around, and that's when it can be at its worst. So just watch out for that. Otherwise, we've got temperatures right now sitting at the upper 80s to about 91 degrees as you get out towards Katy. Low 90s in some other spots as well. Sugar Land, Pasadena's at 93, Baytown 93, 89 down in Galveston officially, 88 as you get up towards Cleveland, 91 out in Brenham and 93 in El Campo. The wind's generally out of the south, pumping the moisture in. That's going to keep our humidity levels at about 65, 75, probably pushing close to 80% in some spots as well. So it is going to be a warm afternoon. And as you might expect, feels like temperatures are all running anywhere from the mid to upper 90s, low 100. So, you know, it's a, you got to get at that run or maybe get the uh, uh, take the uh, dog out. Do it later this evening. That's the best time for that. So seeing a couple of quick little flare ups there working their way in from the coast. I'm not expecting more than than five ten percent max today if you happen to get a shower you got lucky what we've been seeing for the most part has been this moisture train basically set up from the southwest moving its way across del rio as you get up towards san angelo 
and of course uh, San Antonio, which was dealing with some flash flood warnings last night as they were really getting dumped on and these thunderstorms continue to train there. The dry air impacting us and keeping us relatively quiet so far. So high pressure sitting just to the east of us. And then of course you've got that moisture train moving in from the Pacific. And so that'll continue to set up shop and it's kind of caught it between two systems. So the high brings in some of that Saharan drier air. Here's this area of low pressure down in the uh, southern plains. That's sweeping in all of that moist air. And so this is where we're going to see things pretty rocky today from Dallas up towards Oklahoma City. If you're traveling up that way, uh, do expect the weather to be pretty messy for a good chunk of the day. So future cast as we get to this afternoon, notice maybe a quick flare up. But that's about it. Otherwise, very, very isolated. Rain chances will be pretty much null and void as we go in towards tomorrow as well. Starting to see by Tuesday into Tuesday afternoon. Not much there either, but eventually we start to see high pressure move back in. We get a little more moisture moving in as the dust starts to, to uh, dissipate and that'll put us back to about 20, 30 percent chances as we get a Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday as well. Keep in mind if you're going out for the Texans home opener for the preseason here again, San Francisco setting up at the tailgate lots early in the afternoon might have to uh, get chased out by a quick rumble of thunder and a downpour. Mm -hmm. All right, Justin, thanks so much. You got it, guys. We'll be right back. Stay with us. If you thought replacement windows weren't in the budget this year, we've got great news. For one month only, Renewal by Anderson is having a flash sale on our windows and patio doors. Before August 31st, save 20% on windows, save 20% on patio doors, and save 20% on installation too. And get the financing we almost never offer. 0% interest for four years. We're the full-service replacement window division of Anderson, and they've been building windows windows for 114 years so you're getting a fantastic deal on a window that will really last during this sale save 20 percent on windows save 20 percent on patio doors and save 20 percent on installation too and get the financing we almost never offer zero percent interest for four years our flash sale is one month only and ends on august 31st call to book your free window diagnosis 832-735-0400 for top quality floors at rock bottom prices, there's no place like Floor & Decor. You'll find the largest in-stock selection of tile, wood, and stone. You have to see it to believe it. Visit us in-store or online at floorandecor.com. As we count down to the first day of school, it's time to start meal planning for the kids. Right, but you know, it can be tough finding something that they want to eat that's also good for them. That's where health reporter Haley Hernandez comes in. I recruited some KPRC kids for a taste test. Some are picky eaters, so I got the cold hard truth about what they liked and learned the secret to keeping lunches fun throughout the school year. Little mini waffles. She cut the strawberries <laughs> like a heart. My favorite part is underneath here. Who said school lunches have to be boring? Sectioned in bento boxes or with baking cups, dietitian Christy King says this is how to get a variety of foods into one lunch box containers and lunch boxes that can help you make this fun and interesting will help. Absolutely. Lifting up can cartons, opening up things. The goal is each lunch should have a protein, fruit, vegetables, and grains. Are you serious that popcorn counts as our grain? It does. Really? As long as it's not covered in butter. Some examples of a well-balanced lunch include pairings like this. Cheese tortellini. Add a little bit of the cherry tomatoes, and I actually chopped up some string cheese sticks to put in there as extra oh. protein. And then we've got a broccoli salad, which is to die for. You think they, these kids will eat that? I do. A nice try, but we'll be the judge of that. Meet first grader Ella, second grader Jack, and sixth grader Avery. It looks presentable. But does it win their affection? Right away, the BLT goes to Avery. I like the BLT. <laughs> the lettuce and tomato equal one of her servings of vegetables, too. And Jack jumps on the peanut butter apple with chocolate milk while Ella eats cucumber. I eat all the time. You do? Are you telling the truth? Yeah. <laughs> they sample and swap. I would do this instead of that. Carrots getting a hard pass. While the chicken salad lettuce wraps are presented in an appealing enough way, they'll give it a try. I like it because it's not touching each other. We quickly learned the kids like almost everything, and they're even willing to eat veggies or grain if they can choose which ones to pack. 
For example, Avery doesn't want the popcorn, but would prefer more veggies because much to my surprise, she does like the broccoli salad. It doesn't taste like broccoli. It really doesn't? Mm -mm. It's good. Write down the things that they we know that they like, so that way we have something to go to. And if you do that, Ella promises to eat it. Just don't skip on dessert. Every lunch should come with like something like, like you eat all your good stuff and then you like have like a little surprise at the bottom. <laughs> King recommends setting up a display of food for the kids, include lean protein, veggies, and grains, and have them choose which they'd eat in their lunch. This taste test was a real eye-opener that the kids were willing to eat nutritional lunches when they got to pick and choose which of the essentials to pack. I'm putting the list of lunches we made on click2houston.com. You'll find it under the health section. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.